Hello, hello, queens. It's your girl, Kanisha from Currency Queen Budgets. In this video, I will be doing my first cash stuffing for 2023. If that is something that you're interested in, stay tuned. guys so i am so excited this is my first cash stuffing for 2023 and we are going to jump right in it and let's get this money counted we are cash stuffing a total of 1070 dollars how is everybody doing i hope you have been having a great year already it seemed like this year is flying by <laughs> y'all listen because we already got paid for this year so that means we are two weeks in going into week three so let's get into how much money we have here. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6, 700, 50, 800, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1000, 10, 20, 30, 40. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 70. Oh, I don't have any ones. I didn't even notice that. I guess I don't need any ones this go round. All right, so first we are going to start with our bills. Bills, bills, bills. All right, for my credit cards, I'm going to take these trackers out because I'm going to start these over. Because I have a different way that I'm paying my credit cards. Yeah, so for my credit cards, I am going to do $100. Let me see if I can zoom out just a little. Okay, that's better. Just readjust it just a little. So, all right, so credit card got 100. For tides, we are going to do $70. So we are going to do 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, and 70. For my car note, I will be adding 150. So I'm do 150. All right, let's count and see what we have for car note. We have one, two, three, 50, 400, 50, 70, 90, 5, 10, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 600. We have $600 in our car note. For our insurance, we are going to do $50. So that gives us 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, and 200 dollars. Y'all, has your insurance been still going up or is it just mine? Um, it went up some more, and I was thinking about 
changing insurance companies but i'm going to go talk to them and see why my insurance keep going up y'all because i'm not trying to keep keep on giving these folks all of my monies i'm just not but it's like always that when you're two steps ahead you get pushed 10 steps back it's that's just what i feel like right now but <sighs> Cell phone is gonna get um 130, so I'm gonna do 100, a 20, and a 10. So let's see what we have. We have 152, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59. It's 359. And that is for three phone bills. Okay, for my utilities, I am going to do $135. And we're going to do $100. 20, 30, and 35. Okay. 100. I need to, I need to, um, adjust my camera here. So I have 152, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 400, 510, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. 435 for my utilities. For my rent. I am going to do two hundred dollars. So I have one, two, twenty four, forty, sixty, eighty, three hundred. For my subscriptions, I'm not stuffing anything in. Oh, wait, student loans, y'all. I guess I'm taking this out of here. And because I look and my loan don't start back until August. And I'm just going to use this money elsewhere for right now. And then start back stuffing probably two months before my, my due date. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw this in tides since I got that extra a little change here. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, and 20. All right, ooh, that worked out perfect. Okay, so that is it for my bills. I stuffed a total of $925, I think, y'all. I think it was $925 in bills. So the next thing I'm going to move to is my variable expenses. And we have money left over. Hold on, y'all. I have a new I don't have a new wallet. All right, so I, I do have a new wallet, so I will be switching while we're doing this video, while we're cash stuffing. So, for groceries, let's see what we have. I have um, five, and then I have my ones, and we are saving all of our ones. And I'm thinking about saving my five dollar bills um so i'm just gonna sit that there 
and we are going to stuff as we go so i do have a, a new wallet here y'all and i've been waiting on one of these for a while so i can carry all of my cards in here and it has a zipper and it also has a binder um thingy and i have all of my envelopes in here so yeah that's exciting for me for my groceries i have this five dollars but for my um money that i have rolled over i'm going to use that for my savings challenges and then you guys know i'm doing my one dollar bills i'm saving all of those um so any ch any one dollars that i get back from change i'm going to save those until the end of the year and then we're going to do a big count if you guys did not see that video i have it linked up here and you guys can go and check that video out and see how many i saved for 2022. so um as far as my savings challenges i'm going to use just rollover money right now until i can get my credit cards paid off and once i get my credit cards paid off then we will resume our normal activities with our savings challenges so to get started we look like we're gonna have to break this little baby in because it's not laying flat at all but i wonder if i have something i can lay on here um we're just gonna get into it so for my groceries i am and i'm going to put my other wallet here that way i won't forget so for my groceries we are going to do 115 dollars so i'm doing 110 and 15. And I'm just going to add that here. And I did do my envelopes with a clear back this time. Y'all know I switch them up. I switch them up. I always switching them up. Okay. Let's see how we're going to do this. Okay, for my gas, let's see what we had left over. For my gas, I have, ooh, I have 50, 70, I have $70 left over for gas, and then I'm going to add $50 in here, so I'm going to take 20, two 20s and a 10, so there's 20, 40, and 50. So that is going to give me a total of $120. So I have 50, 70, 90, 110, and 120 in gas. All right. So for eating out, let's see what we have. And it looks like that's only ones. So I'm going to, and it's all ones, and we're just going to sit that to the side here. And for eating out, I did $30. See how that's going to work, 20 and 30. Next is household, and I have 10 left for my household, and I'm going to put that to the side for my savings challenges, and uh, for household, we are going to do 20. For spending, we had, um, yeah, we had one dollar left over, so it's gonna go to my one dollar pal. 
and we will get 10 for spending. And then for my medication, I'm going to do 10 as well. So that's five and 10. And I did have $20 left over and I am not going to pull that out. I'm just going to leave it medication in here because I didn't do um, the envelope for my copay. So if I just feel like I need to go to the chiropractor, I will just pull money out of here. So my medication is probably the only one that I won't pull out for rollover. And then deposit, I do have money for deposit and which this actually goes on a credit card. Because when I went to the gas station, I do use my credit card, so I will take out of my credit card envelope, no, out of my gas envelope, and I put money back. I did go to Sam's, so I have household money here as well as something else for my credit card that I used. Um, I had the cash on me, but I use my credit card, so I just put it here. Y'all, I try to get as many reward points that I can. So all of this is going to go into deposit, in which I may just stick that into, let's see, my credit card until I get ready to take that to the bank. Let's see how that'll work. Okay, yeah, I can do it. We can roll with that. So that is it for my variable expenses. I'm going to take this off as well. Take my little poom poom off. My little poom poom and see if I can fit it in here. Well, I'll do that later. Try to switch that over. But I'm going to take this $15 and add it to my savings challenge envelope y'all and I think I'm gonna be a little sick about <laughs> not doing my savings challenges right now but yeah I'm gonna put it on hold I think I'm just going to really focus on my monthlies for now I'm going to make sure I do those every week. And then if I have anything left over, then we'll do other ones. But savings challenges are not my priority until I get all of my um, credit cards paid off. And those, I think they amount to $1,500. Somewhere around there, maybe $1,600. That I have left to pay my credit cards off. So I'm going to be putting every extra penny that I have. Every nickel. Every dime. That I have extra is going towards those credit cards. So that is my plan. I know y'all probably like I'm always switching up something y'all. Because I do. I do it all the time. I'm always changing up my budget. If I could think about something that I need to do. Something I want to do for right now. To you know. Free up some money. That's what I'm trying to do right now is free up some money because all this money I'm paying in credit card debt, I could be doing something else with it. Like savings challenges. Um, but that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this cash stuffing and me switching up things. But I really appreciate you all for stopping by. And as always, you guys know I want you to be blessed, Queenies. Bye.